Imagine running 26.2 miles. It's called a marathon. Imagine running 26.2 miles after first swimming 2.4 miles and cycling 112 miles. That's called Ironman. And two men from Steinbeck will be attempting that feat August 25th in Whistler, B.C. Greg Penner and Les Friesen are veterans when it comes to endurance sports. For Penner, it started as a teenager racing bikes. He made the shift to running as an adult and admits swimming will be his greatest obstacle come Sunday. Penner says balancing three sports, as he's had to while training for Ironman, has been a challenge. Way beyond that, you're balancing th life. Um, you know, with, with a wife, with a full-time job, with a small boy, um, you don't want it to disrupt life too much. You can't help it that it does. Um, so the biggest challenge has really been sleep. Um, I want to do most of my training early morning, so, um, you know, 4 o'clock is pretty much the norm um, for wake-up time every day. Uh, it doesn't matter if you feel like it or not. You get up and you train. There's always something to do. Um, so just the general fatigue of that um, is the biggest challenge. Penner says very often he'll have multiple training sessions in one day. That may involve waking up at 4 a.m. to hit the bike and then moving to the pool, completing his three-hour workout all before 8 o'clock. Penner says his number one goal come Sunday will be to execute his plan. Um, I have a very detailed race plan of how I'm going to pace it, how I'm going to, you know, eat, because you do have to eat during it. You have to put in a lot of calories because you're thinking through a day you're probably burning somewhere around 9,000 calories. Of course, you cannot eat that much, but you have to eat something just to keep going, keep some energy in you. Um, so those things I'm worried about, um, you know, the swim, the nutrition, the pacing. But again, I do have a pretty good plan, so I, I'm pretty confident in that. If, if I can get, you know, on plan, things will go well. For Friesen, he started running in his mid-20s and shortly after moved to triathlon, competing in events across North America. As mentioned, Ironman will take place in Whistler, B.C., through mountains. Friesen says training for those elevation changes hasn't been easy. It's tough, really. Uh, tough to really simulate it when you're doing 95% of your biking indoors on a trainer, but... I've been to uh, Morden where there's a good valley there where, where some good climbs. Uh, that's, that's the best way to simulate the, the climbs. But I'm definitely going to have, have trouble with uh, the mountains. Having competed in Ironman before, Frieza knows what to expect. Uh, definitely the, the last part of the bike and the last part of the run are, are definitely the most painful. And it really is, uh, becomes a strength, a strength of the body and mind mind thing with 10 miles left to go in the marathon and so that's and it will definitely hurt so that I, I know I know what to expect. Both Penner and Friesen say it's special being able to do this together as two athletes from the same hometown. It's pretty cool that two guys from Steinbeck are really you know hitting this hard. We are a small town and uh, we don't have a, like this big you know mountains and great weather. It's pretty challenging so you know to know that there's someone else kind of going through it with you, it's, it's, a, it's, it's very cool, very encouraging, and a great honor. Oh, it's definitely great uh, with uh, having another guy that's shooting, shooting for the same race as you are. Uh, definitely, uh, it can be encouraging knowing he's going through exactly what you're going through. So it's nice to be able to share that with someone. Both men have October 12th circled on their calendars. That's the date for the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii an event they're both hoping to qualify for. Reporting for Steinbeck Online, I'm Shannon Duick.